The pencil tool creates vector curves and resembles the natural feel of drawing. Because vector curves are editable, I'll also show you how to edit the strokes afterwards with the node tool. First of all, I'll select the pencil tool from the tools panel and zoom into my illustration. I'll check on the colour panel that the ring that represents the stroke colour is set to black. It doesn't matter what the fill colour is showing at the moment, because use fill is currently disabled on the context toolbar. I'm also going to take a look in the stroke panel to make sure the stroke style is set to solid line. I can change the width on the slider in the document view or on the stroke panel, and I can also scrub left and right on the value. If I want a specific stroke width, I can tap the number and type it in. I'd like to set this width to 4. Now I can use my finger or an Apple Pencil to draw a curve. As you can see, it has recorded all the little imperfections and placed nodes along the curve. But because these are vector curves, we are able to go back and adjust it afterwards by manipulating these nodes with the Node tool. It's easier to make a smooth curve with fewer nodes, so I'm going to select a few of the nodes and press the Delete icon to remove them. Now I can bring this node to the middle and manipulate the control handles to smooth the curve. I can change the line's appearance afterwards too. In the stroke settings, we can see that the pencil tool has a pressure profile and we can move the nodes to taper the end of the line and give the effect of lifting the pen. I can also tap along the line to create new nodes. When I move them around, the nodes and curve line temporarily disappear so I can easily view the changes that I'm making. I can tap the nodes and choose to delete them or reset the profile. These settings will apply to future strokes too, so now I can go back to the pencil tool and continue lining the wing with the same settings. If you're having trouble drawing smooth lines by hand, you can enable one of the stabilizers on the context toolbar. The rope mode pulls the line behind it as if it's on a rope. It even slackens if you move your pencil back towards the drawing point. You can change the length of the stabiliser on this slider. A longer stabiliser will create a smoother stroke. The window mode averages the input positions within an area and it has an elasticated feel. I'll two finger tap to undo my previous lines and complete the wing with the stabiliser. If you want a more organic drawing experience, you can tap here to change the way that you control the pencil tool. For example, by choosing pressure, the line thickness will be determined by the amount of pressure that you apply to the Apple Pencil. As I'm looking for a more uniform look to my strokes, I'll change this back to None. And I'll reset the pressure profile by tapping a node and choosing Reset Pressure. I'll also tap this bin icon to delete this curve and deselect the previous curve. The pencil tool has some other helpful features on the context toolbar. We can change the stroke colour from here and enable the sculpt feature. Sculpt will enable you to continue a curve that you have released, so you don't need to join them together afterwards. If I switch to my move tool, we can see that although I created this with several strokes, it has resulted in one curve. This sculpt feature becomes particularly powerful when combined with use fill. I'm going to draw the beaks next, so I'll use the colour picker to sample a gold from the artwork. Now when I draw, I can also see the fill. If I disable Sculpt, you can see that this is the effect of Use Fill. But if I enable Sculpt and Use Fill together, it achieves our desired effect. Finally, we can use Auto Close. This automatically connects the last node of the curve back to the first one when the pencil stroke is released. Also, if I hold control on the command controller, I can draw straight lines. Releasing control will place a node without me needing to release the pencil, and then I can enable it again to draw another straight line from here. Once I release the pencil, auto close will close the curve. So that was a look at the pencil tool and its helpful features. Thanks for watching.